both did an incredible job. Uh, I know you guys only had like a 30 day shooting schedule, right? It was pretty small, yeah. Yeah, I yeah some, oh, yeah. something like that. that like. I think it was more than 30 days, but it was, it was, yeah, it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty quick. Pretty tightly packed, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. yeah. When you're making a movie on a limited budget like this, with this many special effects and stuff, you don't have the time to, to you know, to to shoot yeah. <laughs> like a, like a normal superhero movie. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're, you're you're definitely limited. You were in Avengers, correct? I was. So what was that like? Was this was that shot before this? Or? Yeah. Um, so that was shot in December of 2017, was which was that. ages ago yeah. now. Um, that was I, that was just a week, or not even really. Um, but yeah, that was a that was a terrific experience. Um, yeah, definitely. It must be fun. Now you're leading a superhero. Yeah. Now, so well, was, super villain. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that feel like? Do you know? Well, I mean, I, I try not to be too braggadocious because yeah. I don't want to, you know, come off like that. But um, no, yeah, it's, I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for a better first feature yeah. film experience. Uh, not only is it, you know, every kid's dream to be able to play a, a super being, you know, essentially maybe a superhero, but <laughs> you know, super villain is just as fun, if not more, in my opinion. Um, it's also a, an opportunity as an actor to explore such a wide range of characteristics and, and uh, emotions. And so I, I thought it was a really, really special experience yeah, for me. You did a really great job. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. You guys have a great relationship in the film. Well, how was it like Austin? Did you guys have to build that chemistry or did it just naturally happen to set? We got along pretty well from the get-go. You know, we, we, we um, yeah, we basically, you know, a lot of that was just organic, natural chemistry. I mean, you know, James is, it, you know, he's known Liz for a very long time. I've known him for a long time. He, David is one of his best friends. So the, the, the set was very familiar. And, uh, and so that lended itself to everyone feeling pretty safe and comfortable. And, uh, and so we, you know, we just had some natural chemistry that hopefully translated onto the screen. Because, you know, you want to believe that that's a family that loves each other from the beginning of the movie, you know. And it definitely came across, too. I think that was made, really you. the selling point for the film. Too, oh, so. nice. There's a lot of gore also in the film, which yeah. threw me by surprise <laughs> a lot. Did you guys, were you guys like witnessing that on set, or was it a combination of uh, like practical and visual effects? Yeah, um, it's definitely a balance between the two. Um, we saw our fair share of, uh, you know, maybe the more primitive stages of, of the, the, the most gory scenes. Um, yeah, and it was entertaining, you know, obviously you're seeing it from a behind the scenes perspective. Um, so it's actually, you know, especially for me, my first role, my first movie like this, you know, any project like this, um, it was it was very cool to see, um, you know, what what they're able to do with special effects physically, and then how they're able to combine that with actual video effects. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really cool spectacle to witness. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, uh, you're proud of yourself, correct? Yeah. In yeah. the film, Elizabeth's character was kind of uh, frustrating for me because you know I'm not a parent, so I wouldn't know yeah. how it feels. But she was uh, very much. Looking out for a child to the point, I was like, "Come on, lady! Like, you know, you have to. Yeah. If you, you know, if your, uh, if your child or whatever suddenly started uh, having these abilities and was acting crazy, do you think it would be more like your character or more like uh, Elizabeth's character? Me in real life? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think um, no. I would, I would be more like Kyle. Um, I would hope to be even more um, observant and okay. and pick up on some troubling things uh, early on. Um, you know, she was pretty, you know, close-minded and so so hard for her. She wanted a baby so bad that to actually have a child could only see the innocence of this baby when they first found him. And, uh, and you know, sometimes that blinds people to seeing their child as anything other than that. Um, I think Kyle was a little skeptical from the get-go, like even finding an alien in the woods, yeah. maybe we should call somebody. But he goes along with it, and for about 12 years, it's, it's pretty okay. I mean, it's almost as if he's a normal kid. And then when he goes through puberty and things start changing, everything changes, and it gets it just goes from zero to 100 pretty quickly. Very quickly, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Again, the film was great, you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.